What is intermittent fasting? Many diets focus on what to eat, but intermittent fasting is all about when you eat. With intermittent fasting, you only eat during a specific time. Fasting for a certain number of hours each day or eating just one meal a couple days a week can help your body burn fat. And scientific evidence points to some health benefits as well. Intermittent fasting is an eating pattern during which you refrain from consuming any calories for an extended period of time. Usually, this period lasts between 12 and 40 hours. Water, coffee, and other calorie-free beverages are allowed during the fast, but no solid foods or calorie-containing drinks are permitted. Johns Hopkins neuroscientist Mark Matson has studied intermittent fasting for 25 years. He says that our bodies have evolved to be able to go without food for many hours, or even several days, or longer. In prehistoric times, before humans learned to farm, they were hunters and gatherers who evolved to survive and thrive for long periods without eating. They had to. It took a lot of time and energy to hunt game and gather nuts and berries. These are some of the benefits of intermittent fasting, your metabolic health might improve, you may lose weight and your insulin levels could decrease. You will have more energy. Your mitochondria will thank you. Here's what Dr. Gundry teaches. So, the take home from this part is, within reason, the longer we go in the fasted period every 24 hours, the better our mitochondria repair themselves. And the other take home is, you can eat the same amount of food live longer, have better health, as long as you compress that eating window. Now, many people ask, well, I have to have food to keep my energy level up. And in fact, the evidence is that it's exactly the opposite. Eating constantly, eating multiple small meals a day, as I show in the energy paradox, is one of the best ways to deplete your energy because it taxes your mitochondria. Are you enjoying the content? Share it with the ones you love. Look what these scientific researches have found. Several lines of evidence also support the hypothesis that eating patterns that reduce or eliminate nighttime eating and prolong nightly fasting intervals may result in sustained improvements in human health. Humans in modern societies typically consume food at least three times daily, while laboratory animals are fed ad libitum. Overconsumption of food with such eating patterns often leads to metabolic morbidities, insulin resistance, excessive accumulation of visceral fat, etc., particularly when associated with a sedentary lifestyle. In laboratory rats and mice if and pf have profound beneficial effects on many different indices of health and, importantly, can counteract disease processes and improve functional outcome in experimental models of a wide range of age-related disorders including diabetes, cardiovascular disease, cancers, and neurological disorders such as Alzheimer's disease, Parkinson's disease, and stroke. Dr. Gundry again. Okay, so the evidence in animal studies and in human studies is absolutely striking on the benefits of these periods of fasting. And let me uh, share the famous Italian athlete study that I talk about in the book. They, they took some Italian uh, cyclists and they put them on an eating program. They divided them into two groups. One group, they all ate the same amount of food. They all ate the same food. One group had a 12-hour eating window. And an eating window means this is when you start in the morning, this is when you finish in the evening or whenever you eat. The one group of athletes had to have breakfast at 8 o'clock in the morning, lunch at 1 o'clock in the afternoon, and they had to finish dinner by 8 o'clock at night. So that's a 12-hour eating window. The other group of athletes had breakfast at 1 o'clock in the afternoon. That was their break fast. They had lunch at 4 o'clock in the afternoon, and then they had to finish dinner by 8 o'clock at night. So that was essentially a 7-hour eating window. When they looked at their athletic performance, both groups had superb athletic performance. Both groups maintained muscle mass, but the compressed eating window guys, they lost weight and their insulin-like growth factor, IGF-1, which is one of the best markers for longevity and health span, fell 
and the folks who were eating in the 12-hour window had no change in weight and no change in insulin-like growth factor. Same amount of food, just compressing the eating window, had all of these benefits, including weight loss. So we want to economize them with the following intermittent fasting plan. Don't forget that if you have any doubts or special health conditions, you need medical help to adapt the fasting to your case. Intermittent fasting may lead to feelings of hunger that make it challenging to stick with at first. However, research shows that the diet may be able to help you lose weight and improve your metabolic health. Make sure you're focusing on eating a balanced, healthy diet during eating periods, which will help you feel your best. It's highly important to note that fasting is not for everyone, especially in pregnancy and for people with eating disorders. Speak to your healthcare provider before trying out if. Thank you for watching this far. Share with the ones you love.